Gee, it looks like there's a car missing. See, right, right, right back where that shed was, was another vehicle, and it's gone. Unless it's pulled over here. I mean, I, I, I don't know if people know that, uh, Code 18241 Conspiracy against another Is a 10 year felony And if the person gets injured That year amount goes up And then there are Like injuries And Uh just all kinds of other little things to add with it. How straight? Straight through there. You can barely see the other side. As soon as I came out and started recording. Talking about what I'm talking about, and it's happened on more than one occasion now. I wasn't even pointing that way, so I didn't catch it on camera. Lights go out, lights always seem to go out when I'm on my phone recording and talking. See? Used to be four, three lights there, now there's two. Code 18241. And another one came on down there. I don't think people realize that I, I filled out for a class action lawsuit and can pass a polygraph test. I don't think people realize that. The gravity of that. That there already is. Uh, lawsuits going on in different states. Because of the info that is actually out there. Like, I don't think people understand the gravity of that. There's a clear possibility that if I get a polygraph... People could lose jobs, pensions, and if they're run-of-the-mill people, their homes. Well, I mean, it, it, I think it's homeowners insurance that might have to pay out the claim, but I bet your homeowners drops them directly afterwards. Now, I've, I've, I've had enough to, like, last a lifetime. And on top of it, at one point in time, I could have swore I either heard somebody walking around where I was or right here where I'm standing outside. I mean, it'd be a bitch. You 
You know, if you had a cushy pension and shit. And got caught breaking these, you know, war crimes and whatnot. Crimes against humanity. I don't, I don't care how you label it. But to try to fool me and think that the shit stopped? Yeah, right. 